or taking myself on a solo date. It's not come from the thermocline. I'm tracking it from the shore. Dive, flank speed. That's why I like going on solo dates because when you go on a solo date, you ain't gotta worry about being with motherfuckers that's like, oh, that shit was trash. Where I waste my money, like, bro, shut the fuck up. Like, shut up. Because it's already so much fucking going on down here, and I, I'm slowly starting to regret even coming down here. <laughs> what? Hey, <laughs> niggas is weird. What the fuck? I think he didn't want to speak to me because I'm recording. But you better stand on that shit. Thank you. Wait, what's your name? <laughs> this bitch a goofy bitch. Wrestling suit. So. <laughs> hey. How you doing? Good, how you doing? And I thought somebody would take my pictures because nobody wanted to come with me and everybody wants to be late. Y'all are losers. Back in Detroit. That shitty ass view. Them shitty ass people and them shitty ass activities. Yeah, I said it, bitch. Look where I am. What's popping? What's popping? What's the deal? It's your girl, Micah Bailey. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. But if you're new, welcome to my channel. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe at the end of this video. Y'all see by the title, I'm going to be doing a, um, this vlog is going to be me going on a solo date or taking myself on a solo date. Um, my bed is messy. Taking myself on a solo date right now, I'm just waiting on my, well, they're probably done heating up now. I was waiting on my, um, flat irons to warm up so I could do my edges. I'm about to do that, as y'all can see, I already did my, um, already did the lips, eyebrows, all of that. And I'm already just, so this is the fit. These are the shoes. I had to take my anklet off, I'm so sick, cause it was rubbing against, rubbing against the back of my, um, sneakers, and we can't have that. Yeah, this is the fit. Looking real good, looking real good. You hear me? I got on this um, top from Fashion Over. It's a mental vacation. And then this vest is from Sh Pretty Little Thing, not Shane. We don't fuck with Shane because Shane did me wrong. And I can't get over it. So, um, and then these are from Fashion Over. I got these a long time ago. But I didn't gain weight since I didn't got these. So, we're going to pull them out again. Why is it dark? Okay, I don't know if this one is better, but we'll figure it out. But yeah, this is the fit. It's like 70 degrees today. Don't ask why I got this fucking sweatshirt on. I'm trying to see what setting I like more. this angle so I'm about to let's see don't this one come with a is this just a phone tripod or can I put my camera on here that's good y'all good okay so next to what I was doing maybe some hot Hold on. Whatever. 
It is what it is. Look at my big ass square head. As long as these is like given, I don't really care so much, you know? <laughs> okay. Cute, 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 cute. So it is. So it's either this purse. And then like the red and gold, cause it's gold in a chain. I mean, not the chain. I mean, yeah, the chain. My bed is a mess, don't look over there. It's gold in a chain, this is gold. And then this is gold. But the black and red and white, well, the black, the white is throwing me off in my shoes. It's not throwing me off, but it's like something, you know, like, I get what I'm saying. I don't really, I don't really, it's either that though, or I feel like this would go like clearly, but, but like, this adds like a little pizzazz. Lotion. Get off my face. Uh, what is this? Perfume. This is Burberry Her. Lip gloss. Gotta have a lip gloss. Vaseline. Oh, fucking numbers. Let me not do that for y'all trying to get better on this motherfucker, you know? Get off my earring, bro. Yeah. Loser. You fucking lame. That's gonna be a two day solo day. Who the fuck you know taking you out? I mean taking me out better than me. I'll wait. Cause ain't nobody taking me out because you niggas are lame. I'm about to go to the head to the theater. Actually I'm about to take some pictures. Cause I look pretty good. And I can't let this go. You know? I'm, it's not that far from me, so. I'm good. So, I'll see y'all in the next clip. It just took me like 20 minutes to take all of these pictures. I just took so many pictures, bro. Hold on. Go over, what the fuck? Oh, shit. Well, I didn't take so many pictures, but I took enough. <laughs> so. But. See, it is 4.57. I'm about to head out. And obviously I'm not gonna be able to record. Like, I'm not gonna be able to, uh, what was I about to say? I'm a, I'm not gonna take my tripod in. I might take my camera in, or I might just record off of my phone, cause taking a camera in a movie theater is like a little insane, if you ask me. Um, so yeah, I'm probably not gonna record off of my camera. If I do, I'm not gonna take my tripod. I don't know, either way, y'all will get some type of footage. But yeah, I'm about to head to the movies. I'm gonna be a little late, but previews and, yeah, previews is gonna save my life. So, I'm about to head there and I'll see y'all in the next clip. Two guys in tank pressure. 
if there was a leak, there'd be a book reading on the reading. I'm not seeing anything here. Check the pressure on the auxiliary O2 tank. That's not the problem. Uh, Jonas. Me? You go hungry. It's not come from the thermocline. I'm tracking it from the shore. Dive, flank speed. All right, so the movie just ended. It's seven oh five. I'm um, I booked my Sugar Factory uh reservation for nine. I was trying to get it for like um eight thirty. Cause I didn't know what time the movie was gonna be over. It started at five, which I know like with previews and shit, it probably started at like five fifteen. First of all, I got here late. I fucking missed my. I took twenty minutes taking pictures. I didn't leave the house till about five, and then I took the wrong ex. I missed my exit, so I didn't get here till like five twenty five, five thirty. Um, so I want to go see it again, <laughs> not today of course, but like in the future because I missed the beginning. I don't think I missed too much, but. I like to watch movies again anyway, like not over and over like any of the edges. Like, I watch it over and over like at home. Well, depending on the movie, but like I want to like sometimes I could watch a movie more than once, especially if I watch like I miss the beginning of the movie for some reason or if I just want to see it again. I like watching it at least twice because when you watch it a second time, you always see something that you didn't notice or didn't peep in the beginning, you know? I gotta stop moving my hands and shit. But yeah, it was a cool little movie. It was a good movie. It was just a lot going on. But it was a good movie. It was a really good movie. I'm not gonna say really good. It was a cool movie. Um The Squid was very random. I'm sorry, Octopus. Octopus. Octopus was very random, but I guess not because they we was it's it involved the ocean. I don't know y'all, but my freaking reservation is not till nine and it's only like let me see how far it is from here i never been to the sugar factory either like i tried to go and the this one just came this they just put a sugar factory in michigan or in detroit or well, in michigan period because it's the only one in michigan this just got here probably like last year maybe if i'm not mistaken either last year or no definitely because it was here last year either last year maybe the year before that but it ain't been here too long they just not giving us shit. Like, damn. Um, what else was I about to say? Uh, I tried to go to one when I went to Cali. I went to LA in 2020. I went to California in 2020. And I tried to go to the one out there, but the line was stupid long. The wait list was stupid long. So... I said I wanted to come to the one here and people be telling me like I heard from one person actually not people one person told me that he heard from other people that it was trash or ghetto I just want to go for the experience that's why I like going on solo dates because when you go on a solo date you ain't got to worry about being with motherfuckers that's like oh that shit was trash or oh this da, 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 or you we wasted our time or I wasted my money like bro shut the fuck up like shut up shut up I like going places by myself because I don't got to worry about hearing people's mouths or opinions or thoughts. Like, bro, I can keep it to myself. Like, if this movie was ass, I would have just... If the movie was ass, oh, so cute. If the movie... He is a teddy bear. Uh, okay, teddy bear. I will show y'all, but I feel like that's kind of, like, rude. So, I'm not going to show y'all him. Uh, what was I about to say? Oh, yeah. I feel like solo dates are very fun because me personally, that's what I was about to say. Like, let's say <clears throat> that movie was trash. Let's say the movie Meg was trash. If I would have went with somebody, usually nine times out of ten is boys. Boys always leave the movie theater and they like, oh, my God, that movie was trash. Oh, my God worst movie ever oh my god i wasted my money niggas love going to the movies and saying that and i just hate doing it i hate i hate when they do that it's like bro y'all don't got good taste in movies either like like what do you what like what but if i go by myself 
in the movie trash i don't gotta hear nobody's voice i don't gotta i don't gotta i can just say to myself okay yeah i'm not seeing that shit again just like i went to go see barbie when i was in louisiana and it was not it wasn't i me personally people say they don't i'm trying to talk to y'all because i'm trying to waste time so if you want to just fast forward past this part go ahead and do that but the movie barbie i be seeing people on twitter say i don't see how females don't like the movie barbie like i guess on some deeper shit like i guess on the i guess on some i don't know like i didn't really get the the message or the purpose or the i don't i didn't really get it and i don't want to watch it again to try to understand it neither so i just didn't really get the movie it just wasn't i was i, I just feel like my eyes and my brain was on two different pages um because i was i was trying to it just wasn't working it just wasn't working so the movie barbie i'm glad i didn't i went to go see that by myself because if i was with somebody or a dude if, especially if i was with a dude they would have been like oh my god that was trash i just don't i just don't i just don't care to hear people's opinions that's why i go by myself like especially if i go to like it's the same thing with like restaurants um anywhere like i just don't sometimes i don't be feeling like having to be bothered with another person's company Ew. either a person's company or a person's fucking mouth because sometimes i just i want to be with myself if i gotta if i gotta come to the movies with somebody um i'm yapping oh my god i might just cut all of this out but i might not because y'all could just fast forward if you want to but um if i come to the movies with somebody and they we leave and they got they like oh my goodness it's so trash like i hate that shit like okay you you're entitled to your opinion you're right but damn do you gotta voice it all the time like don't nobody like shut up just shut up like just it's sometimes it's really about just the experience it don't even matter if like it like you know sometimes it's about the experience like okay the movies the movie was trash but you sitting next to a baddie <laughs> what are you talking about the movie was ass but what like you're next to me like we're sh like you're with me so at the end of the day it's the experience you know what i'm saying like i just don't be feeling like i don't be feeling i don't be i don't be wanting to be bothered with people and they company in their mouth and their thoughts and their opinions so i really go out by myself most of the time majority of the time i would prefer to go out by myself unless it's with my friends even though even with my friends they'd be like oh i'm ready to go home or oh this oh that da, da, da. no if, if i'm by myself i don't have to uh-oh if i'm by myself i don't have to worry about you know like it's just so much life to live in solo dates like i don't get and then people be acting like they they scared to go out by themselves especially to a restaurant like bro i'm quick to go to a restaurant a bar by myself now when i go to a I, I, i'm not saying i'm like i go to a club by myself because i don't even go to clubs first of all but like club environments okay i get it why are you going by yourself but if it's like a bar a restaurant but like the movie theater what like i don't see the issue people like you just if you have a problem with being in your own your own company and you think it's weird then you're you're the problem you're the weird one you know what i'm saying like you're the weird one people this is why i don't record in, in public because i can go out and i can just enjoy myself over and over and not worry about a motherfuck thing you know what else was i about to say um Oh, some people be like, oh, I won't go out because not because they think they they don't like they like they don't like they so, but they don't want to go out because they think they be thinking about what other people think or how people gonna look at them when they buy they so like bro nobody's thinking about you. I need me a white boy. Well, I don't need a white boy. I want one before I leave this earth. I just want to see what they hit on. Somebody just put him next to me, and I just social anxiety i definitely could have brought my camera in too but i wasn't about to bring my tripod this is my tripod wonderful i wasn't about to bring this in that's just weird i could have carried my camera though because my camera is very like i like i could hold that bitch like in my hand like you know um i don't know why he paying babe because i didn't pay ah i'm hollering um what else do i want to talk about oh that's what I was about to do. I was about to see if maybe I should move so, so somebody can get this spot. The Sugar Factory is 18 minutes from me. 7.15. Oh, tomorrow I decided I want to try to go. I really want to try to go jet skiing even though it's not super hot. But don't nobody, you're not supposed to ride jet skis when it's super fucking hot anyway. Like, that's not fun.
I'm waiting on the lady to text to DM me back because for some reason their 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 website is not working. Or I also want to do. I still I'm still going to the zoo. Did I get my ticket? I gotta book my ticket. I want to go to the zoo. I want to. I don't know if I'm gonna do that candle thing tomorrow. I don't know yet. But I'm about to go look at this because it's this ATV place. It's three hours away from Michigan though. But again, like if I go by myself, I don't. I don't gotta hear nobody mouth like, oh my god, it's too far. Oh my god, I'm not driving. Oh my god, who paying for the gas? Don't already want to hear that shit. Stop complaining. Like you motherfuckers be boring. That's why I go out by myself and I just be like, bro, fuck you. And when I had, if I had my vehicle, this is a rental by the way. This is not my car. If I had my car, I would be going so many places by myself. Because sometimes I don't want, I don't want to be bothered with friends. No offense, friends definitely not niggas. And sometimes I don't want to be bothered by nobody. Like either or. Hey y'all, what's the damn? So basically, it's 7.30 and I just posted basically my fucking location. So I'm about to leave because we don't do that. We don't post the location while we still there. We don't do that. That's not, we don't do that. So I'm about to fix my lip gloss real quick. Actually, I think my lip liner is bothering me. Damn, hold on. God damn, this bitch about to fall off the hands. Show me why I made a hoe. Hey. I think I fixed it. I'm about to head downtown because that's where the sugar factory is. And I'm just going to um I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm about to do. Honestly. Honestly, truthfully. I wanna go live, but I just posted my location. I'm gonna lie for a split minute because it's freaking 7:33. Like my reservation is not till freaking nine. What am I supposed to do until then? Huh? What am I supposed to do? Make sure y'all follow my Instagram and my Twitter, Snapchat if you got it. Um, like, comment, and subscribe if you're still watching. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. They building, I hope that's a parking structure. Actually, we technically don't need another parking So Really, we do. Really, do we? Cause what is this that they building? This is, this is why I missed my freaking exits. My freaking, this is why I was kind of late too because they got this building over here and it completely throw me, it's like completely throwing me off. I don't know if y'all can see, hold on. Uh oh. This building over here, like huge. I don't know what they doing, but it threw me off. I missed my, I was supposed to turn in and, uh oh. And I missed my freaking, I missed the turn because this fat ass structure threw me off. I think it is gonna be a parking structure though, I think. Cause that, that don't look like an apartment, right? They wouldn't build an apartment right there, right? Right? No one Royal Oak, they probably would. Oh, I found the freaking ATV place. I'm not gonna give you all my tea because, oh. I'm not gonna give you all my tea because I haven't been there yet. So I can't give you any reviews. I would rather give you all the location once I've been there and I can review it. Okay, I'm not trying to gatekeep. 
Actually, I am, but for a good reason. So, um, yeah, I found the place. It's three hours away. But like I said, I don't give a fuck. I will go by myself. So I'm just about to dip. And then I'll see y'all when I get to my location, my destination. So I am downtown. The sugar factory is actually right over there behind me. Oh wait, no, it's a little walk down, like a little walk down. It's like right over back that way, but it's not that far. Um, I found a parking spot. I actually been here for about 20 minutes um, cause I'm early, but I can always see if I come in early first, like come in earlier, but I'm thinking I'm gonna just stick to my reservation because it's already so much fucking going on down here. And I, I'm slowly starting to regret even coming down here. <laughs> what? Hey, <laughs> niggas is weird. What the fuck? I think he didn't want to speak to me because I'm recording. But you better stand on that shit. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? It, oh, I'm already slowly starting to regret coming. He was kind of cute. He was a light skin. I think I'm. I think I'm pausing in my life on life on light skins um anyway it's a lot going on down here so much and i should i should have just known because it's fucking saturday but i just love being downtown like downtown just is my comfort scene in my comfort comfort setting like this police officer just pulled somebody over down there it's a fucking motorcycle like, where do you carry your tickets and your guns and your, 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 like, how does that work? Anyway, it's 8.30. I wish I could get some girls to fucking come with me, because. This is too, it's too much movement. I'm just slowly regretting even coming down here. Like I should have saved this for tomorrow when it's more chill. Cause I low key drove past it and I could kind of see inside. And from, from, from where I was looking it looked packed, but I don't know. Look at this tall chocolate man. I don't like the way he built. <sighs> if I go in here and it's packed, I might turn around. I might, cause I mean, honestly, I can. Go, I'm good on going to the crib, and time is not going any faster. Like any faster. So, I will get. Back is just too much traffic right here. I shouldn't have parked here. It's too much, like it's just too much to be looking out for. I'm about to sit here until it gets a little bit closer to time, then I'm just gonna go in there and then y'all gonna see me on the next clip. I don't really know what I just said, but I think y'all know what I said and in my head, I understood what I said, so that's all that matters. Um, Great, I'm gonna see y'all in the next clip. Y'all, I'm in this rental, and the 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 place that I'm parked at, like my parking, where I'm parked at. Let me get this damn camera together because this is gonna piss me off. Um, everybody just keeps fucking looking in the car, like, bro, fish bowls should be illegal because people just don't respect your business at all. They just too nosy for their own good. Oh. And people about to watch me walk across this street with this big ass camera. This is why I don't record. If I can just make it to the other side of the street. I don't know why I brought this tripod. I didn't really need it. Well, 
Look at some money. sit down because this is just too many people and y'all know how that get I need to watch my surroundings too so I'll pick it back up when I get in Okay, y'all, so it's the next day. Clearly, I was supposed to go to the ATV thing. I was supposed to be leaving at like 11. It's 2.20. The reason why I didn't leave at 11, though, first of all, so after I left the sugar factory, I had went to the MGM. Um, I met a friend up there. We went to the MGM. Well, yeah, we went to the MGM casino with his name. And he was teaching me how to, uh, well, not teaching me, but he was gambling and I was just watching like seeing how that go because I ain't never gambled before and I ain't never um like been up there with somebody that's gambling up there like I ain't never like I didn't play the slots a couple times like literally a couple times but outside of that I don't really be fucking with the casino but I went up there just because I ain't had shit else to do uh when I left last night I left there like probably I left the sugar factory probably like uh 11 o'clock. I didn't leave there till like 3. Like 3 in the morning. Then I got back home. Um, oh, and I took my food to go. I had that Chip Alfredo that I showed y'all from uh, Sugar Factory. That shit was good. Like, that Chip Alfredo was cheesy. It was good. The drink was good. Oh, my camera freaking died too. I don't know if I said that already. I had tipped my man. Not my man. The guy that was uh, my waiter. I tipped him $20 because he was working real hard like he was working that bar real hard like it was busy it was a lot of people's birthdays it was like he was trying to get the drinks and all of that shit he was just he was just working real hard because it was really kind of only him i think him and maybe one other person but i i seen that nigga moving and grooving zooming and booming so after i got done with my food i had tipped him 20 dollars, but it was the sign on the wall that i seen up there that said every check comes with a 20 percent gratuity 
So I really didn't have to tip him, but I was feeling good, so I tipped him twenty dollars. Cause I only had twenty a twenty dollar bill and a couple singles, like four singles maybe. And I didn't want to give him four singles. So I gave him the twenty. I'm like, fuck it, I ain't about to do nothing with it anyway. Cause I don't like carrying cash anyway. So I gave him twenty dollars. And he like, um, I appreciate you. You want a shot? I said a shot of what? Cause y'all know I don't I don't really fuck with drinking. Like if I do drink my shit gotta be juiced down. Like I don't even want to taste. I don't want to know that I'm drinking no alcohol. I don't. That's how I am. That's my type of party. You feel me? So, he like, you want a shot? I say like a shot of what? He like tequila. He like, um, he like tequila. I'm like, sure. So he gives me a shot glass, pours up the shot glass, and I threw that bitch back. Mind you, I was already drinking out of that big old bowl that y'all seen that I was drinking out of. Um. I don't know what percent of alcohol was in there, but that shit was, I was sipping on that drink, that big ass bowl, for like a good hour or 40 minutes before my food came. And it wasn't nothing, like it wasn't kicking in, it wasn't hitting or nothing. Like I'm not, I'm not gonna say it wasn't hitting, it was very, the drink was very good, very tasty. It was like peachy mango with some peach penguin shit, I forgot the name of it. I didn't start feeling nothing until I got to like the nitty gritty of the drink. But even then, it wasn't like, oh my God, I'm drunk. It was like, okay, I'm feeling a little, little something. Not even a buzz, but like I feel like a little something. I didn't feel that till I got to the end of the drink. But when I got that tequila shot, oh my God. That shit is dangerous. Like, I was... If you follow me on Instagram and you watch my stories, you know. I'm trying to see if I should just go by myself. Because it is a three-hour drive, but I don't care. If driving is the issue... Put me behind the wheel. Like, what the fuck else is it to do here? Nothing. Y'all wanna be in bitches' faces and niggas' faces. That's not that's not fun to me. That's not that's boring. Y'all do that shit every day on the regular. Like do some fun shit, bro. Like fuck smoking hookah and drinking and smoking weed all day. Like that's not fun that's not fun, bro. You bitches is is burnt out. I think I'm about to go with myself though because I don't feel like I just People is just irritating me and it's fine. And it's 2.30 right now. So yeah, I'm about to get dressed, shower and stuff like that. So I see y'all in the next clip. So this is the fit. I need to hurry up and leave though. My Yeezy's on, I don't really, like I said, I don't care for these. They still in like cool condition because they black. But like, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this is what I'm wearing and I'm about to, Leave out. Oh. Oh, shit. Hey. How you doing? Good, how you doing? Good. I had a reservation and stuff. Yeah. You're late. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, do you want that damage deposit on the same card that you booked with? Yes. Okay. We'll do that. Yep, you gotta fill out these top two lines. Then you're gonna fill out this section. You need to photocopy your driver's license as well. Okay. Alright, you are all set. Do you want to put your attention on the TV? I'll start that safety video for you. Okay. Let me make this known right now. Filming this for y'all was not easy. I didn't have a GoPro. I had to use my cam like my camera camera. And I was trying to get personal footage, like personal footage for like my personal use. So on my iPhone, for my Instagram and stuff like that. And I had to record for y'all. So I had a camera in my hand right here. All of this, this was a camera in my hand. I had to keep it in my the back of the bike because I didn't have any pockets and I wasn't about to be driving with too like no that's just doing too much and that's unsafe and I wasn't going really fast because I was trying to play and say this is my first time y'all I was supposed to be enjoying myself and I was thinking about y'all I was thinking about the angles the views the scenery I'm like oh yeah they gotta see this and I was trying to record for my personal use too I was thinking about everybody I wanted everybody to win you feel me so I want you to take that into consideration when you like this video that I really put some effort into getting some content and views for y'all period bro look at this like i'm literally i have a camera in my hand while i'm driving this four wheeler like are you so serious right now i'm probably driving this with one hand it, 
gotta be because I can't like the way that the handlebars are set up and the camera is set up. It's just you. It's just no. It's just no way. Like this video. Oh, and the real fun is at the end. So stay tuned. Stay tuned.
Oh my god! Hey, G. <laughs> that was so fun. Cool. <laughs> crazy <laughs> it's all right um oh m-i-c-a and then v-e-l-i so like micah Alright, I'm about to follow you. Yeah, Thanks for taking me. Okay. Oh shit. So, as y'all can see, I had the time of my life. Quite literally. Because first of all, when I got here, my eyebrows was on. I don't know where they went. They, I, from taking the, the, the helmet on and off. Actually, the little goggles got this cushion, like, got this cushion on it, got this padding in it. And the padding was rubbing against my eyebrows, so that's why... I'm a brand new bitch right now. But um I was supposed to have, oh and my eyelashes crazy. When I got off the the I forgot what's the name of that ride that we was not the ride, that that vehicle that we was in. The one that the last clip that I was in the last clip. I, I forgot the technical name for that for that vehicle. But I forgot to have my um my glasses on. Cause they told me I could take my um helmet off, so I'm thinking in my head, I'm they like, you don't need your helmet. And I kept it did i keep my helmet no i took my helmet all the way off but i didn't think oh yeah i still need my glasses you know so i should have kept them on because like the dirt and everything was getting in my eyes but it didn't affect me until after i got off the car off the thing and i'm like oh my god i can't see your eyes is <laughs> my eyes is watering i think i recorded it by mistake i don't know i was still recording i'm like i can't even see it they're like what's your Insta what's your um youtube i'm like wait i can't even see <laughs> and they're like oh she didn't have her glasses on i'm like Wait, so that's the dirt? <laughs> I'm just thinking because my eyes be watering a lot anyway. I don't know if it's from the glasses. I mean, not the glasses. I don't know if it's from the my lashes or from like the glue from my lashes or sometimes my eyes just be watering like crazy. So I'm thinking about I'm just going through one of them things like something normal. They like, oh, she didn't have her glasses on. I'm like, oh, that's dirty. It didn't even connect. Like it didn't even connect. But it was still fucking fun as fuck. Like. <sighs> People are so lame. Like, why wouldn't you want to come with me? Like, we, I just had a good, I just had a ball. By myself. By myself. This is the importance of a solo date. You don't need him, her, her, or him. You better go by yourself, girl. And next time I come, I want to catch the, I, I don't know if I want to come. Well, it wasn't really that cold. Um, It was cool, but it wasn't like, because if it was going to be, if it was scorching hot, I probably wouldn't have because nobody wants to just sit in heat you feel me so it was like 70s so like when i was going through the wind or whatever and i wasn't going that fast i don't know if y'all if i caught the clips or whatever but i wasn't going extremely fast because i didn't even know i had i was trying to make sure i don't go somewhere i'm not supposed to be in because there's certain areas that you wasn't supposed to go in or like certain areas where you can you gotta drive a certain direction so it's just rules out there it's not just a like you know saying so i was trying to make sure i was going to like staying on track like like going the right way and stuff like that so i was cruising a lot and i wanted to take pictures and record because this is my first time and i gotta get this on record nobody else is gonna get it for me nobody else is here to record me so i had to do every fucking thing you know <clears throat> so i had to, i was just trying to get you all some content and footage while having a good time but majority of the ride i did not record because i was trying to have a fucking good time because i don't know when i'll be back out here i i, I will come back this weekend but i don't I don't know. People be weird. Like, I'll do this job here and back by myself. Like, I don't... Fuck y'all. Y'all are weird. And y'all, they're lame. Oh, shit. I was supposed to turn back there. Good, because... Oh, well. 
And my phone's on 22%. We gotta drive on 22% for three hours. Yikes. But I did have a freaking ball. This is most likely the end of this vlog. Um, I'm just about to head home. And if you were supposed to come and you didn't, suck a dick, a hard one, a huge one. And you missed out, bitch. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Next time I tell y'all to fucking come swear with me, come. Cause I don't, I don't do boring shit. Like I don't do boring shit. That shit looked like Dubai. Didn't I tell y'all? Well, I told my Instagram. I'm like, bro, I'm not trying to be riding ATVs up and down Seven Mile and Greenfield and all that bullshit. That's boring. The sand dunes. Even though this is my first time coming out here, after like after looking at the pictures and stuff, you can just tell like it's not a regular like. It's an actual place with like an actual freaking sand dune, like huge as fuck, right off the freaking beach. Like it has a freaking beach and like the lake and shit like that. Or I don't know if that's a lake. I don't know. But I don't know what people thought. I'm like, bro, this is literally like the shit. We about to be ATV riding. A motherfucker's gonna think I went to Dubai. I could lie and say I went to Dubai. 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 And who gonna do what about it? Not a bang, nobody. Had a ball and did. Solo fucking dolo, cause I'm that bitch, and I don't gotta have a crew or a friend. Fuck all y'all, but yeah, it's the end of this vlog. Um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.